A gas chamber is an apparatus for killing humans or other animals with gas, consisting of a sealed chamber into which a poisonous or asphyxiant gas is introduced. Poisonous agents used include hydrogen cyanide and carbon monoxide. General Rochambeau developed a rudimentary method in 1803, during the Haitian Revolution, filling ships' cargo holds with sulfur dioxide to suffocate prisoners of war. 1-2. The scale of these operations was brought to larger public in the 2005 book Napoleon's Crimes, although the allegations of scale and sources were heavily questioned. Gas chambers have been used as a method of execution of condemned prisoners in the United States since the 1920s and continue to be a legal execution method in three states, seeing a possible, legislated reintroduction, although redundant in practice since the early 1990s. 3. Lithuania used gas chambers for civilian, penal use in the 1930s, with the last known execution carried out in 1940. The Soviet Union allegedly used the method to perform executions during the Bloody Great Purge, including by use of gas fans. 4. Prisoners were gassed on the way to the Budovo firing range, where the NKVD normally executed its prisoners by shooting them. 5, 6, 7, 8. None of these saw mass use, however, and were strictly for criminal purposes. It is unknown to what extent, if any, Lithuanian or Soviet use may have influenced the methods of Nazi Germany after its subsequent invasion in 1941. Most notably, during the Holocaust large-scale gas chambers designed for mass killing were used by Nazi Germany from the late 1930s, as part of the Aktion T4, and later for its genocide program. More recently, escapees from North Korea have alleged executions to have been performed by gas chamber in prison camps, often combined with medical experimentation. Nazi Germany made extensive use of various types of gas chambers for mass murder during the Holocaust. Beginning in 1939, gas chambers were used as part of the Nazi euthanasia program aimed at eliminating physically and intellectually disabled people, whom the Nazis considered unworthy of life. Experiments in the gassing of patients were conducted in October 1939 and occupied Posen in Poland. Hundreds of prisoners were murdered by carbon monoxide poisoning in an improvised gas chamber. 10. In 1940 gas chambers using bottled pure carbon monoxide were established at six euthanasia centers in Germany. 11. In addition to persons with disabilities, these centers were also used to during Action 14 F13 to murder prisoners transferred from concentration camps in Germany, Austria and Poland. Concentration camp inmates continued to be murdered even after the euthanasia program was officially shut down in 1941. 12. During the invasion of Russia, Mass executions by exhaust gas were performed by Einsatzgruppen using gas vans, trucks modified to divert engine exhaust into a sealed interior gas chamber. 11. Starting in 1941, gas chambers were used at extermination camps in Poland for the mass murder of Jews, Roma, and other victims of the Holocaust. Gas vans were used at the Helmno extermination camp. The Operation Reinhardt extermination camps at Belzec, Sobibor, and Treblinka used exhaust fumes from stationary diesel engines. 11. In search of more efficient killing methods, the Nazis experimented with using the hydrogen cyanide-based fumigant Cyclone B at the Auschwitz concentration camp. This method was adopted for mass murder at the Auschwitz and Majdanek camps. Up to 6,000 victims were gassed with Cyclone B each day at Auschwitz. 11. Most extermination camp gas chambers were dismantled or destroyed in the last months of World War II as Soviet troops approached, except for those at Dachau, Sachsenhausen, and Majdanek. One destroyed gas chamber at Auschwitz was reconstructed after the war to stand as a memorial. Method of Use Executions in California were carried out in the gas chamber at San Quentin State Prison. It was modified for the use of lethal injection, but has been returned to its original designated purpose, Further explanation needed, with the creation of a new chamber specifically for lethal injection. As implemented in the United States, the gas chamber is considered to be the most dangerous, most complicated, most time consuming, and most expensive method of administering the death penalty. It is also notoriously impossible to halt once initiated, which has occurred in the case of stays, such as in the case of Burton Abbott. The same event supposedly occurred in the final, completed execution of Carol Chessman in 1960. The condemned person is strapped into a chair within an airtight chamber, which is then sealed. The executioner activates a mechanism which drops potassium cyanide, or sodium cyanide, 
pellets into a bath of sulfuric acid beneath the chair, the ensuing chemical reaction generates lethal hydrogen cyanide gas. The gas is visible to the condemned, who is advised to take several deep breaths to speed unconsciousness. Nonetheless, the condemned person often convulses and drools and may also urinate, defecate, and vomit. Following the execution the chamber is purged with air, and any remnant gas is neutralized with anhydrous ammonia, after which the body can be removed, with great caution, as pockets of gas can be trapped in the victim's clothing. Nitrogen gas or oxygen-depleted air has been considered for human execution, as it can induce nitrogen asphyxiation. The victim detects little abnormal sensation as the oxygen level falls. This leads to asphyxiation, death from lack of oxygen, without the painful and traumatic feeling of suffocation, or the side effects of poisoning. In April 2015, Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon approved a bill allowing nitrogen asphyxiation as an execution method. On March 14, 2018, Oklahoma Attorney General Mike Hunter and Corrections Director Joe Emelbaugh announced a switch to nitrogen gas as the state's primary method of execution. After struggling for years to design a nitrogen execution protocol, the state of Oklahoma announced in February 2020 that it was abandoning the project after finding a reliable source of drugs to carry out the lethal injection executions.